Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Itchy Girl Star Flames. In this video, we're going to talk about Drake because members of the LGBTQIA community, they are encouraging Drake to come out as gay. Not only that, they're saying that based on Drake's action, it, it is a clear indication that Drake is living in the closet and he's scared of coming out. Now, we know that Drake has recently released a new album, and in one of the songs, Drake could be seen taking jabs at what many people believe is to be Rihanna. And when you examine the lyrics that he has used, really, um, you can definitely tell that he was definitely taking jabs at Riri. Now we know that Rihanna has recently given birth to a beautiful baby boy, Riot Rose. And not just that, she's also happily married to Aesop Rocky, which many people aren't aware of. Even most recently, Riri was spotted wearing her wedding band. But Rihanna and Aesop Rocky, they have chosen to live a very private life out of the celebrity scene and, you know, just away from all the chaos and the madness. And I believe that they have consciously chosen that for themselves because it helps to create a more balanced lifestyle. Now, um, many believe that this is what is really, you know, crushing Drake at the moment. The mere fact that Riri, you know, has had another child with Aesop Rocky and she's happily married. Many people believe that it is crushing Drake to see the woman that he has once loved so deeply, you know, be able to move on and move on to stability. They're saying that, you know, it is wrecking his emotions and he doesn't know how to cope nor how to handle any of that. But irrespective of what the case may be, it really does not warrant a trick to carry out his numerous assaults against women. Now, what members of the LGBTQIA community is saying is that there's so many indications that Drake is living in the closet. They have made reference to him owning a collection of Birkin bag, and not just that, the mere fact that he loves to style his hair in a girly manner and also love wearing nail polish. But I mean, I'm going to keep it real, right? Because I don't believe that owning a collection of Birkin bag equates to being gay. I believe that, you know, based from research, owning a collection of Birkin bag um, could be just something that he has chosen consciously to invest in because it has been predicted that many of these Birkins, the prices will be double, triple, fuple in the next couple of years, right? Even though I don't believe it. <laughs> I just believe that it's all a ploy to sell Birkin because there's always something new coming in, but I could be wrong, right? Now, not only that, when you look at Drake's hairstyles, yes, it's rather out of the box, he's rather different, but if you look back into the culture of hip hop, even back in the 80s, the guys were wearing crimp, they were wearing, you know, hair accessories, and no one has ever equates that to being gay. So for me, who as always, you know, um, have some type of knowledge of how the music industry operates. There are certain things that, you know, for me, doesn't speak gay. I believe gay is not just what you wear. Um, I believe it's just who you are. And this is why I've always said that I don't believe in, you know, people using the LGBTQIA community like a fashion brand or a fashion accessory. I believe that there should be something long-term in place to protect members of the LGBTQIA instead of using them as a fashion brand or 
and accessory. But when it comes to Drake, you know, um, if he's in the closet, I believe that, you know, that would be his business. I believe that if he's gay and he doesn't want to come out, it is because he may uh, be very scared to do so because you know how the hip hop industry is, you know, if you're gay, you're not accepted. If you're bisexual, you know, people don't respect you, you know, and all of that jab is just, you know, I believe that we need more education and um, people just need to be sensitive about um, people's sexual orientation and be um, more respectful and as such i believe we can break a lot of the stigma surrounding people and their sexuality i believe that um god has created everyone in his own likeness and i believe that everyone is a bountiful bright human being who deserves to live their lives on their terms once they're not hurting anyone and i believe that you know, we all are of sin. And if someone being gay is a sinful act, I believe that is between them and God. But, you know, as individuals, we should not judge in this sense. That's just my input as it relates to, you know, Drake. But I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what are your thoughts while you're at it. Show your girls some love and talk to you all later. Peace.